it's a really it's a really funny period at the moment dad's back at the oncologist today it's been three weeks since he was last there and when he was last there that's when they said no more chemo for the time being the implication being that he probably wouldn't be on chemo again they asked him if he had a DNR in place and palliative care and the reason they took him off chemo was because he reacted really badly to it and they put him on steroids instead to build him back up because the primary goal with him was quality of life not cure and we've talked a lot over the last few weeks I haven't recorded as much with him or recorded as much about this mostly because he has been a lot better in himself and uh, the steroids have done their job and he's been a lot more his normal self which has been great to see even though you can still see the effect that the cancer's having on him and the fact that there's no let up of that in that but yeah it's been great to see him be more his normal self granted you know there's there's a frailty to that but in you know he's not been totally bedridden and broken like he was under the chemo while he was having the chemo and yes we've talked a lot over the last couple of weeks about what today might bring in terms of will it will the oncologist say yes we're going to try chemo again or will they just emphasize the fact that no it's quality of life all the way for my money I think that you know I think it'll be quality of life over chemotherapy because if their goal with dad is quality of life, why would you give uh, put somebody on a three weeks of hell, three weeks build up, three weeks of hell, three weeks build up schedule? That doesn't tie in with a quality of life goal. But I'm no medical professional. And so many times during this, the second guessing I've done has been wrong, and yeah, as I say, we've talked a lot. Of, we've talked a lot about that, you know. Dad and I have talked a lot about that. Dad and Jeanette have talked a lot about it, and so on. And and me and Jeanette have talked a lot about it. It's saying this. It's just dawned on me that it's not something we've discussed with Mum a lot, predominantly because the reality of what that means. No more chemo. Well, it just seems that every time she kind of really realises where the situation is at and how vulnerable that is, she gets upset and it triggers an angina attack. And those have been better over the last few weeks too. So why would you put somebody through that? Anyway... I'm in danger of rambling. I'll be going through to my mum and dad's. There. My dad's oncology appointment isn't until about four o'clock this afternoon. I'm doing a couple of jobs this morning, then driving through to Filey to sit with my mum while Jeanette and dad go to Castle Hill. So we'll see what that brings. So I've just got back from mum and dad's and uh, uh, yeah, dad's been to the oncologist today um, and it's as we thought, he uh, no more chemotherapy and he's advised dad to make contact with St Catherine's Hospice which we've kind of already got 
inroads there anyway but also to see what they can do in terms of making him as comfortable as possible and all that kind of thing um, we finally got um, a result or a spoken confirmation about the scan that we had several that he had several weeks ago now that seemed to be glossed over and I think dad had asked the question you know has it kind of got worse and has it spread and you know the the, the oncologist Dr Roy he, yeah he kind of confirmed that that was the case I think the thing that we're all a little bit startled by at the moment is he's in relatively good fettle, you know. He's up and about, he's got colour in his pallor and and the stories have done him good. And one of the good things that's come out of this meeting today is uh, Dad has commented about the fact that having dropped down from two steroids to one steroid, that he can feel a difference in that. And so... The doctors just said, right, okay, that's fine. We'll put you straight back on two. So that's uh, that's the case. And he's got some medication for oh, something else. He's having a bit of trouble clearing phlegm from his chest. So he's been given some medication for that too, which I'm guessing is just an expectorant of some kind to, to keep it loose and free-flowing. But it, it's a real mixed bag of news, really. <laughs> I mean, Dad's resolve is still as strong as ever. He keeps talking about trying to get his brain to unlock the code for his immune system so that um, his immune system will kick it into touch. It's totally admirable in that respect. And I've suggested that he focus on when he can feel it. Like the, like the tumour on his face, when he becomes aware of it and can feel it, to really focus on that feeling, to uh, to focus his mental energy in that area. Because there is evidence to suggest that when we do things like that, when we focus on where we feel pain, without judging it as uh, and getting caught up in the pain, but just focus on the feeling of the pain, that it opens up blood vessels and allows things to flow, allows the circulate circulatory system to flow more easily, which is essential for the immune system to be effective. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit emotional at the moment. 